Intelligence A to Z. My name is Kirill Romeko, and on behalf of Atlante de Pontevesta Construction on this course, uh, I'd like to welcome you into this amazing adventure that we're about to start. And what's up with this timer? Well, the reason for this timer is this is my third time recording this tutorial, and I get so excited about these things, and it just goes over, like, blows over 10 minutes or 20 minutes. So I decided to limit myself to five minutes to get you excited about this course and why it's the best time to be in AI. So let's dive into it. We've got four and a half minutes left. Why AI? Well, we've all heard about applications of artificial intelligence that are popping up around us. Self-driving cars, medicine, heavy machinery, the customer service, the list just keeps going on and on and on. But why right now? Why not 10 years ago or not 10 years later? Well, the answer is hidden in this curve, which is called Moore's Law. It was originally uh, identified in 1965 by Gordon Moore. And what it says is that the power of the average computer, in, like in very simple terms, the power of the average computer that you can buy for $1,000 will double every 18 to 24 months. And that's been, as you can see, that's the law has held constant through good times and bad, war and peace, and the recession, depressions. Uh, nothing stops this curve. And uh, we've already surpassed the brain of an insect for an average computer that you can buy for a thousand bucks. We're uh, sitting at about the speed, uh, the processing power of the brain of a rat. By 2025, we'll be at the brain of a human. As you can see, it's exponentially growing. And so this is a great time to be in artificial intelligence. It's just gonna be doubling, the power is gonna be doubling every time. All right, three minutes. So what uh, some of my favorite examples are uh, related to games like chess and Go. So in 1997, DeepMind was the first computer to beat Garry Kasparov in chess. Uh, it was a huge thing. It was like one of the most uh, broadcasted chess games on the planet ever. And at the same time, and so that was like if, and considered an impossible feat. Right now on any phone, you can install an app with chess, which no human player will ever beat because uh, computers are that good now. You just cannot beat a computer in chess if you put on the hardest setting. Uh, and then, just recently, in March 2016, uh, a computer won against the 18 World Times champion, 18 World Champion of the game of Go, uh, Lee Sedol. Again, considered an impossible feat, even at the start of the match, it was considered to, hap to be impossible that it's only going to happen 10 years from then, but it happened. And, uh, by the way, uh, if you'd like to find out a bit more about the game of Go, uh, it's very, very exciting, very interesting. It's uh, got 40 million players, 3,000 year old game, very popular in China, Japan, and Korea, and it's much more complex than chess. So just uh, there's many more possible combinations. So again, something that was considered impossible is happening, and it's happening now, and much earlier than it's time. So how are we going for time? One minute, 52 seconds. So. That's what you'll see from this course. You'll see that we're using games to train AI. Why are we doing that? Because games are a confined environment where we can, if we can beat a game using an artificial intelligence, then we can use the same principles to apply to business. And that's the exact same thing that the team at Google DeepMind who created AlphaGo, who won against the doll, that's exactly what they did. They applied artificial intelligence to uh, a Google's warehouse to control the air cooling and what they found is this is the electricity bill, uh, electricity consumption. You can see like it's going like this. As soon as they switch on the AI, bam, goes down, and then they switch it back off, goes up. They were able to save 40% on their electricity bill, and I have one minute left. 40%. So you can find the full article on the DeepMind blog. That is insane. Imagine that for a company of Google scale, who which has millions and millions of servers. So there you go. That's that's your connection between applying artificial intelligence in games and applying it to business, very, very closely related. And that's what you will be able to do after this course. And finally, uh, one of my favorite blogs, waitbutwhy.com. Check it out. Amazing blog by Tim Urban. This is how he describes the situation we're in. This is us and technological progress. We're sitting here. This is what it looks like. It looks very, very linear, but because it's an exponential Boom, this is what's gonna happen in the next years. And there's very strong evidence from the things we're seeing to suggest that we're sitting right over here on the kink of the curve. And that, my friends, in short, is why it's so exciting to be alive right now, why it's so exciting to be and get into and be in the space of artificial intelligence, because the power you'll have, the applications that you will be able to 
create or the ways you'll be able to apply it is going to be intense and insane. And I can't wait to see you on the first tutorial of this course. Let's get this started.